Hi, and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Life, and this is a jet lagged. John Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say that. <laughs> Just off the plane from New York, mm -hmm. popped over there for lunch. I was oh, a few lunches. A few lunches, a few wines, uh, a few gin and tonics. Any, yes. any, any whiskey while you were over there? Um, yes, I did. I had, um, I had some I had some bullet bourbon and what? Oh, bullet bourbon. The bullet bourbon, and then the, a gentleman recommended. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Man, we did drink quite a lot that night. Did not, it said quite a lot. I got a very good selection. Oh, I'll tell you what I was drinking. Macallan as well. I had a Macallan, oh. uh, which is very difficult to get over here. Macallan, 18 year old, lush. But I dread to think how much it cost. You, were you not paying? No, I think the other half was paying for that one. Sounds Sad. like, yo, result. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Anyway. Yes. Back to reality now. Yeah, back, oh. back, back into a, a, a damp wine cellar in drink houses. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. mm. And in this episode, we're going to talk about Pinot Noir. Yes. And in particular, a Pinot Noir, actually, if we're looking at all these, part one, part two, part three, are all going to be uh, talking about news uh, from New Zealand, beg yeah. your pardon. And that's the Marlborough. Area. It is indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the first one we're going to try is, is, is called a Brancot from Brancot Estate. That's correct. I think it's quite an old established uh, vineyard, isn't it? S 73. 1973. Yeah, 1973. Not, not 1773. Not 1773, no, no. Well, that'd be your era. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a lad. <laughs> <laughs> Do that Yorkshire accent so well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 73. Okay. I might be wrong. So we're going to compare and see what, see what New Zealand's going to, and then another episode, we'll probably, another couple of episodes, we'll, we'll be tying chilli for, for sure. Uh, and then another, I was going to look at South Africa, but actually there's not that many labels that do, there's not many uh, Pinot Noirs come out of South Africa. No. So I might change that to, a, to another country. But, you know, okay. we'll, well, you'll stay, stay hooked into the YouTube channel and you'll see that pop up. Okay, should we give it a go? Yes, let's. Now, now. now, no, I'm just going to say now. What, what people know of Pinot Noir is uh, the more kind of a <coughs> French thing, um, and especially, and then you, when you when you think of Marlborough, you also think of Sauvignon. So yeah, so you saying a Pinot, a Pinot Noir from Marlborough is what's the unusual because they are up and coming. It's, more people are looking for them, more but it is it's not something everybody would look for. Um, but what you do tend to find, or what I've found in the past, is Pinot Noir being a much better price. Okay. Uh, from New Zealand. And New Zealand's not really cheap, especially the Marlborough and especially um, the, some of the Sauvignons that they can they can sell. But compared to some of the French Pinot Noirs, and I don't, I, I've just said that and I don't really want to put French wines down, but compared price-wise, you usually get some cracking Pinot Noirs. Yeah, and I guess French wine is good and it's got a good reputation so people go there for safety, whereas yeah. they, perhaps they'd feel they'd uh, be chancing their arm a little bit to go somewhere else. And uh... Yeah, yeah, but, and, and, and also Pinot Noir is quite an unusual grape. It, 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 one of the most kind of complex, I'd say, in that you, know, you can get some very light, easy going ones, you can get some really heavy, beasty ones, so you know, you don't particularly get that, say in a Cabernet Sauvignon, it does what it says on the tin, more like you know what you're going to get. Uh, so. Trying these three will be um, quite interesting to see what, what the um, what the difference is. Okay. So let's have a go. So look wise in terms of colour, it's uh, it's quite an unusual colour. Yeah. It's um bordered yeah. on tawny? Yes, yeah, it's almost it's a lighter tawny. Yeah, look, that's my hand that's influencing it actually. No, the the tawny's definitely in there. I can see on, on the rim. Yeah. It's just yeah, just a touch of brown there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But it's quite, um, uh, it's bright, but it's not very dense. No. And you can see straight straight through that, but Pinot Noir is such an unusual group, so we won't even be able to tell till we've had a good taste of this, so let's have a smell. Yeah. <sighs> see, the power on the nose there, it betrays the colour, if you know, and I, it's much more... Yeah, and, and yeah. Very, it is quite an ob, you know, obvious. I know we've, we've mentioned it before, but that kind of rotting vegetable or slightly off compost to heat. It's just got something there. It reminds me of Beaujolais. Yeah, like uh, the, 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 the gamay grape, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely got that style. I almost suppose that look, going back and up there, it smells a bit smoky. There's a bit smoky to say. Oh, yeah, I've not noticed that until you said it. Mm. And again, typical almost, you know, because I know a lot of people do almost in a derogatory term describe um, red wines when they smell of smell like rubber or taste like. But that has a does have a rubberiness, but it's nice. It's now I've never been able to get that. Cause no? You talk about car tires, sort of rubber, aren't you? And I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never, 
not other types of rubber. That's just. I didn't think I'd have to specify, John, but then I forgot I was tasting mine with. Yes, that little big car tyre rubber. That's exactly the rubber I'm okay. talking about. Honestly. So let's have a little taste. Cause okay. It's <laughs> quite uh, unusual how that works. Because it's quite, I mean, the, the flavour that I'm getting is cherry, mm. real intense cherry. Hardly anything in the word tannins, but it's, it, that cherry has hold such power, you'd expect there to be more tannins there. I, I don't know how to explain this, but it's, 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 it's quite light, it's not, it's not sort of, it's viscosity, I mean, it's, it's, no. it's almost sort of watery and it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not sort of uh, cloy in any way, it's... No. <clears throat> that, that comes through as well with the... Um, with the length, you have to flavour this. Not, there isn't that much, but for this style of wine, I, I wouldn't really expect it. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice kind of lush drink. Yeah. But without being too overpowered, but it's still got a nice bit of com com complexity, especially on the nose. This is one of these where I could spend a lot of time smelling it before actually getting in there. I'm not looking. The length is 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 reasonable, but it's not intense. If you know what I mean, it's there's, mm. there's a, just a, a sort of hint of it there, rather than completely sort of staying with you full on. I think that's that, that is the, down to the, those lack of tannins, which you know is no bad thing. Well, there are tannins in there, but it's, they're not in your face. But as you say, it's it's there, but it's not. It's, it's, just, it's just got a juiciness. There's a juiciness there. Okay. Mm. So what would you? What would you uh, score that as? Score? I'd give that quite um for what it is. As a Pinot Noir, I'd score that quite highly. I'd probably go into the eighties for that seventy nine eighty for a Pinot Noir mood thing. So it's not particularly my thing right now. But if if I was in the right mood for that, then yeah. I, that would be you know I'd, I'd obviously score that a, a higher. But as a Pinot Noir, I'd give that a happy eighty. Well, I I'm only going to give it seventy three. Seventy three, John. Where did that come from? Well, I, just because I, I have enjoyed Pinot Noir a lot, and it could be just the mood thing you're referring to, and, and you know, um, time of day or what, I don't know. But I, I remember enjoying Pinot Noir and other Pinot Noirs a lot more than that. Okay, so okay. So I, when I tasted it, I was disappointed, but obviously I think that's my palate compared to, you know, I'm sure it's a, it's a, it's a lovely wine. I can taste the cherry, but... Very controversial, John. Very controversial. <laughs> no, no, I can appreciate it fully. Because I remember back in the Pinot Noir was your go-to wine, wasn't yeah. it? That was the one you'd go for, full yeah. stop, yeah? So... Oh, well, John. Well, that's, that's as I say, don't don't necessarily take my word for it, folks. You try it. Um, it's a mm. very nice wine. I'm not sure of the price on this, so I'll put it down the bottom of the, the, the screen. Over but, there at some point. But um, obviously it's a, a brand, it's, it's sort of Marlborough, so I'm expecting it'll be a little bit of a premium for that. Yeah, yeah, de well, definitely, but perhaps not, still not quite as much as your kind of burgundy no, Pinot no, Noir, no. D different league. I'm, I'm going to say 10 quid. I think you'd be fair to say 10 pounds, yeah. yeah. I think I'd, 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 I might even go up for that, st knowing that style, what people look for, I I might even knock it up to 12. Really? Mm. Yeah, you might be marked that, that, oh. that, That's what I would, um, I could happily charge that in the shop, I would say that is definitely worth 12 pounds. Okay. Whether it costs 12 pounds or not, I'm not very good at that, but... <laughs> we'll we'll, we shall indeed you'll, see. You'll, you'll see. Good mm. Okay. Good. Well, we'll get on to our next one, shall we? And see if that doesn't disappoint me as much. I'm terribly sorry, John. No, it's my fault. I chose them. You don't have to say sorry. <laughs> no, that's brilliant. All right, let's get uh, We'll see you there. See you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>